Aquarius, we're going to do your reading for not only January 2024, but we're doing the whole entire year also. This is your big end of the year reading. This is my gift to you. And I want you to sign up. Go ahead, because then you get this every single month. You will, I mean, you won't get the huge reading every single month, but you will get about 10 minutes every single month delivered right to your inbox for free. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. I'm going over your tarot. I'm going over your astrology, and I'm going to do your shadow cards. The other thing I am throwing in for the end of the year is going to be the Alistair Crowley Thoth deck. So some people say Toth, some people say Thoth. So whichever one it is, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, not going to get keep that stuff, but this is going to be eh, about 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to be a little bit longer, and we're going to go over all sorts of stuff. Aquarius is your sun sign. Don't forget, you have a rising sign and you have a moon sign also. So you're going to want to check those out. Go ahead and hit over, head, head, head over to Google and put in your birthday, your time of birth, all the place, all that good stuff. And then just put calculate and it will tell you. And then I want you to come back here, come back here and watch all the videos because you might have three different signs. But Aquarius being your sun sign, that's like your most outward thing. That's the thing that's going to like hit the most. So let's see what is going on with you. Actually, good things going on. And I just want to tell you, please forgive normally. If you know, if you know, you know, if you're here, welcome. I mean, if you know me, and it's so weird because I have about 80, 80 to 90% of people watching are not subscribed. But if you are a subscriber, you know, I normally have nails on. I got, oh my God, I was trimming the dog's nails. I got a big old um, bruisey thing. And then I got a, an infection. I am just having a heck of a time. So normally I have my rings and my nails on, but I kind of got to keep them off for a day or two. So some of these videos, I might be a little plain Jane, but uh, let's see what's going on. Aquarius, you got some stuff going on. Again, this is for January 2024. I'll go into the whole year thing at the end. Mm -hmm. You had a you had a, a reversal of fortune in fall, and then it looks like in that kind of looks like December is a little boring for you. Might have just been like me. Might have been like nothing much going on. Nothing good. Nothing bad. Kind of. Like you're just stuck. You're just bogged down. You're just stuck, which Aquarius, I know you don't like, but we're getting into January, which is starting to be your time of the year. Um, you're having a change of thought. You're having a change of, instead of being a mischievous Aquarius, you're actually wanting to kind of like uh, settle down, which is not the Aquarius thing. The Aquarius thing is to be, you know, um, unique and to be exciting and to kind of also be distracted a little bit, you know, kind of be like, Ooh, squirrel, you know, uh, there, there's a settling down. There's three different cards here that say, you're going to start to kind of settle in. It's almost like, I don't want to say you're grown up because it's, that would mean that you're immature, which you're not, but it's, it's almost like you're kind of like, evolving. There's like, there's an evolution that's coming this January for you, which is huge. And it's going to be a very quiet January. You're going to actually just kind of dig in. You're going to be alone with your thoughts, which I know Aquariuses are very, very, very fun. They're very sweet. They're very um, lovey and outgoing, but you need that downtime too. And this is going to be a big part of that. Now it looks like in February, you do have some things that are moving forward. Could even be a trip, could even be a move, but looking at these other cards, it really looks like it's more of like a moving forward, like things in your life start to like unjam and they move forward. And then I also have for you, um, going a little bit further into March, you may have a little upset or you may have to deal with some ego issues. You may have to go, you know what? I'm not always perfect. Sometimes I make mistakes and you need to own up to it. So that may be coming up for you in March. So now let's look at your Astro Dice. These are available in my store. That's the other thing. You got to click down below. That is going to go to my Etsy store. I have 3,700 five-star reviews. Um, it kills me. I was looking at it the other day. I have nothing but five-star reviews. I have like four bad reviews. And they, because the four out of 3,700 do this math, Etsy, I don't know. I have like a 4.7 rating, but it's like, I have like 3,600, 994 five-star reviews and four, so whatever. So that, you know, whatever that is, but five-star reviews, go check it out. I have readings there. I have the most beautiful products. I'm loading stuff all the time. Um, depending when you're watching this, I have different pop-up sales on all the different social media. These are available on the website. These are the Astro Dice. I'm going to use these so much fun. And then you can, um, they have the planets, they have the houses, zodiac, and they have the zodiac symbols. And I have them with a package where you get a pouch, psychic vision oil, which is not anywhere. And Oh no, where's my cheat sheet? Here's my cheat sheet. If you know, you know, if you've been to Mama D's before, you know the cheat sheet and I have it on hand because I'm not wearing my bifocals. I am wearing really cute sunglasses today, but not bifocals. Like why would we take care of our eyes? That would be silly. So we're in 
Aquarius, we're in fourth house. And fourth house is all about, again, the psychological foundations. That's exactly what we're talking about with this kind of like, mm, like you're kind of pulling back. You're, it's almost like, uh, like you're going toward the light, but not that you're dying. Not like, oh, go toward the light. Not like that. It's like you're going toward a new way of thinking. It's it's an evolution. I really want to call it that. I don't want you to think I'm like calling you like immature. That's not what I mean. But you are maturing. There are things in your life that you're going to go, you know what? That doesn't work. And I've been doing it that way and it just doesn't work. Now this could be with a person, a place, a thing, a worker, a, a boss, a, um, you know, uh, your kids, somebody in your family. You're just like, you know what? I've been beating my head against the wall trying to do it this one way and it's not working and I'm wasting more energy. And you, you start to go toward like another avenue and a whole bunch of your aspects of your life start changing. It's, it's really weird. So, uh, in, in a good way, in a very, very good way, this is like very psychological foundation. This is very like internal foundation. I don't see other parts of your life really changing much. I don't see there being a big money upheaval. I don't see there being a big love upheaval, which is good. We don't, you know, that's not fun, but we are in South node. So, so the South node is actually saying you already knew this was coming. You already knew like it was kind of time to change. It was time to move new things into your life, move old, old things out. There's a lot of karmic stuff here. You knew this was about to happen. This is not going to be a shock to you, but I think this year's birthday is going to be a very different birthday for you than it was the year before. It's going to be very uh, peaceful. It's going to be very calming. And, you know, all this is happening, uh, in Capricorn and Capricorn is that structured, super structured, uh, you know, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and, and Aquarius is not so much. Aquarius is, you know, ruled by Uranus. It's an air sign. It's a lot more free and easygoing and Capricorn and Saturn are coming in and they're like, you are going to do it this way, or you're going to get punished. Now, I don't think anything bad is going to happen, but it's like, you know, I tell the story a lot. Um, it was actually when Saturn was conjuncting Jupiter a couple years ago, and I had been meaning to get brand new tires. And it was literally on that December 21st that Saturn and Jupiter were having the grand conjunction, right? And I knew, so Jupiter's about money and Saturn's about doing the stuff you're supposed to. Well, I was supposed to get new tires for winter and I kept like being like, I'll get it, I'll, 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 I'll get them later, I'll get them later, I'll get them later. Well, I was literally on my way to the dealership and my tire exploded. I don't mean like, oh, it kind of, no, it like shredded down to the metal, like crazy. I was going 80 miles an hour on the highway. Anyway, long story short. Uh, so when the guy came, the AAA, the AAA guy came to, to help me out and I was, I could literally see the exit for the dealership, literally could see the exit half a mile away. Um, and he goes, he's, he was like, well, you're so happy. You're so chipper. I go, oh yeah, it's Saturn. And he goes, no lady, it's a Subaru. And I was like, ah, <laughs> and what I meant was Saturn came in and gave me a spanking. Saturn came in and was like, you were supposed to do this. You were supposed to take care of this. Since you did not, I'm going to take care of it for you. And it was the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. So the conjun so Saturn was like, I'm going to take your money. Like, I'm going to, you know, Jupiter's not going to protect you. I'm going to take your money. So I had to get all four brand new matching tires that day, but it had to be done. Anyway, Saturn is coming in, in your astrology here. And it's not, here's the thing. Think of it like the, the, um, the dictator parent and the fun parent. Okay. Saturn is the dictator parent. They're not doing anything mean to you, but they're doing it for your own good. Like they want you to make your bed every day. They want you to fold your clothes. They want you to go to school. They want you to eat a, you know, a boring breakfast with no sugar for your own good. Not because they're trying to hurt you actually the opposite. So just know, just know Saturn is coming in and Saturn's, eh, Saturn's that kind of energy. This is a good time to retrench. Think about what you want. Think about where you got to go and kind of look at what you're doing. And is it vibing with that? Is it, is it helping you get to where you need to go? So this is, these are, I should say the shadow deck. This is the witch moon deck. I use as a shadow deck. Do you know about the shadow self? It's dark feminine work, dark shadow work. It's kind of that other side of yourself. We always try to present our happy, loving best self, but you know, then there's that other side. We all got the other side or we got the inside. So this is that you need to know both. You really need to know both to get anywhere in life. If you know, like I know, um, my rising sign is Scorpio, right? So Scorpios always have to have an enemy. So that's a shadow side. That's not, that's not, it's not like a good characteristic, but what you can do is once you know that. So what I do is I make my, um, working out my enemy. So I look at the weights or I look at the treadmill and I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to kick your ass, you know? And so I make things, my enemy instead of people. 
the, and then that helps me do better. That helps me be better, you know? So let's look at, oh, so let's see what's going on with your shadow self. It's going to give you kind of something to do in January. Let's see what's going on for January. Spells and rituals bring magic in and do self-care. Yeah, it's going to be, I'm telling you, it's going to be a pretty quiet December. It's going to be a pretty quiet January. So I'm going to pull another card just to clarify what some stuff you need to do. You are ready. Make your masterpiece. This, I'm this is this big transitory time for you. You're going to be a different person. Like if you were a vegan before, you're going to become like a butcher. If you were, um, you know, if you only did Pilates before, you're going to start doing like heavyweight training. You know, it's, it's going to be like one of those where all of a sudden you're going to be like, whoop, you're going to veer off to the side. So let's look at for the rest of the year. I'm just going to pull a card. Ah, that one popped out. We're going to put it off to the side. I'm going to pull a card for each month and then I'm going to pull a card for each season and we're going to see what's going on for Aquarius. Okay. So let's look, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Let's look for February. Hey, and guys, don't forget, sign up because I got some really awesome sales going on. January is going to have killer sales. I'm doing one like kind of focus for the week and then a pop-up sale every week. You don't know when it's going to happen. Might be for one day, might be for the whole week. You never know. Sign up on the social media. Um, I just had a sale go off the other day and it was like a hundred dollar discount. So, I mean, these are major sales, but you got to pop up and sometimes I'll be like, I only got five of these left. That's it. So sign up on the social media. Also, I love talking to you guys. My phone number is right down below. You can text me directly and I will get back to you as soon as I humanly can. If you need a spell, if you need a reading, I got text message readings. I got phone readings. We can go over all of your super personal stuff. If you got a specific person you got to ask me about, I know you do. I know you do. So, you know, just give me a call. Or we'll give me a text message. Give me a text message. Say, Hey, this is so-and-so. Sorry on YouTube. This is what I want. And I will get back as long as I'm not sleeping or I'm on the phone with somebody, I will get right back to you. Okay. So let's see. February. February. It's yeah. It's going to be that kind of, we got this card over here for February too. It was that same upside down. So there, there's a decision that should have been made or a decision that you want to go through. This could even be a legal decision. It's going, and don't freak out when I say legal, it could be like a contract. It could be like a check. It could something of an institution, banking, government, finance, court, medical, there could be some, it's just stuck. It's like hovering. It's kind of just like not going anywhere. That's going to be a little annoying for your Aquarius. Let's see. March, March is going to be more alone time do embrace this, embrace this. If your specific person is going on a trip, if you are single, if you, um, you know, have somebody at work that's driving you absolutely crazy, this is the time to really enjoy and really get to know yourself and go, okay, I got to do this project by myself. I got to do this thing. See, like if you see they're planting flowers together, but it's upside down. So this is like, if you got to plant a garden in March by yourself, be like, you know what? This is great because I don't have somebody else telling me what the fuck to do. I can do whatever I want. Embrace, embrace that aloneness. Okay. April, that decision from back here, that decision is going to be made in April. That's going to start to move forward for you. That's going to be like, okay, let's get going. So again, could be a check, could be, hey, could be your tax return, could be a court thing. It will be a decision and it looks like it's going to be toward you. It's going to be a good one. Okay. May, Maze again, it's a little bit of a retrenching. It's a little bit of a pulling back. Um, this is not a time to go travel. This is not a time to try something new. This is not a time to start a project May. This is going to be a little bit of a pullback. I think as you have this good month here, it's almost like it's going to be a resting month. Like something you've been working on for a while is going to come through and you're going to be like, you know, I'm going to watch Netflix for a couple weeks and just chill out. Okay. June money month. Fabulous. Again, maybe that check comes through. Maybe that sugar daddy comes through. Who knows? Oh yeah, this week. Depending when you're watching this, sugar daddy products are on sale this week. Hit me up. You need a sugar daddy. I got you. I got you. I got all those products. I actually started that trend on Etsy. So there you go. Uh, yeah, money, money, money coming to you. Could be a raise, could be a new job, could be all sorts of stuff, but you're sitting on a big old pile of money. So that's good for you, Aquarius. And then we get to July don't lend your money out. Don't listen to somebody else. Don't have a financial advisor. This is where you can actually hoard your money. You can hide it in a sock drawer. You can not tell anybody about it, whatever you want, but this is going to be a month where I want you to keep it for yourself. If your friend is like, I just need 20 bucks for gas, be like, sorry, I like a plastic. Sorry. Okay. Keep it, keep it to yourself. August, August, you're going to be the star of something. You're either going to be in a new relationship or you're going to be doing extremely good at work. You're going to be the star of your own production. Make sure you're the writer, the production person, the, the costume designer, the lighting master. You are the star writer 
director of your own show, that's what August is going to be about. You're going to feel really, 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 really good. Okay. In August. So whatever you need to get going, do it. Also, if you need anything physical done, if you need like plastic surgery done, if you change your whole, if you're like, I'm going to cut all my hair off, do it in August. If you're going to make a major physical change, that's the time when you can really pull that off. September, you're going to be non-emotional. You may have been emotional this whole entire time. Aquarius being an air sign, you kind of, you can be emotional or you can turn it off. This is going to be one of those turned off times where you're just going to be like, you know what? I'm just getting through the fall. I just got to do what I got to do. I got to winterize the house. I got to get the kids crap for school. It's just going to be kind of a, just get through it September. Let's see. October manifesting. You are on the ball. I think Again, it seems like you have a, a, a up month where you're doing a lot of activities and then you have a down month. So it's probably like you get a little burned out and then you need to rest and then you can kind of come back to the world and then get burned out, and then, you know. So that's what I'm seeing a lot for uh, 2024. We're going to check the, the yearly cards though, or the, the seasonal cards. You'll see those in a second. This is going to be a manifesting month where you're really up out doing things, making stuff happen. Is Halloween your favorite holiday? Because like October, you're just like coming alive. You're like, yes, that's like everything I need. Okay, let's see. November, spending a lot of money. So if you got it, you got it. If you don't, don't borrow it. That's all I got to say. But it does show you spending some money. It also can be a job change. Just be careful and make sure that the money situation is the same. Sometimes employers will lie to you and say, oh yeah, we'll pay you that. And then you get there and it's like, oh no, we never said that. So if you do change jobs or if there is a money situation going on, make sure you get it in writing. Promise me that. November, you end the year in sunshine. You end the year getting ready for your birthday month. You get, you're, you're like, you're like, I can't wait till January. Your December, 2024 is absolutely fabulous. Do you remember that show? Does anybody remember that show? Please tell me I'm not just the old, old head that I'm the only person that knows that one. You are absolutely fabulous. Next December, you're doing everything you need to do. These are the Aleister Crowley, Toth, Thoth, whatever you want to say. Uh, he, that was the Egyptian God of knowledge. Uh, I could go into some total conspiracy theories, but I won't. But if you ever saw that little blue sparrow looking God, he's like got the ripped body, but he's got the sparrow head. That is the God of knowledge and, um, all things esoteric, all things occult, all things, you know, so pretty, pretty good guy to pick for a deck. I'll tell you that. So let's say I heard he got a big deck. Oh, oh. I wish I had the, I wish I had the little hi-hat in the background. Let's see what's going on for your year. I understand that winter starts December 21st. I understand that. And I understand that fall starts September 21st, but you know, I'm from the Northeast. I don't get down with that. To me, winter is winter. To me, fall is like September 1st. So I'm going to go by the seasons. This is whatever the season means to you. This is what the season means to me. Okay. So to me, spring is like, March, April, May, summer's like June, July, August, fall is like September, October, November. You know, I'm a little, I'm probably, you know, 21 days too early on my seasons, but I'm just going to read my seasons. Whatever it means to you, that is what it means. Okay. So let's do spring first. Well, no, let's do winter first because you're a winter baby, right? So let's do, I'm going to shuffle these again. Let's see what each of your seasons, this is going to be things to either look forward to or to be uh, weary of, to be like, okay, I know that's coming. So I'm going to avoid that pitfall. Let's do winter first for you. Winter for 2024. Oh, again, that, that is that manifesting card. It's going to be your time. You're going to shine. Don't freak out. If stuff is not going your way, use that pink gooby thing between your ears called your brain and manifest your way out of it. Don't forget. I also do manifestation coaching and I will help you through all sorts of, I can help you with mantras. I will teach you how to manifest. I'll do all that. Get a hold of me. My phone number is right down below or go to that fabulous website and go to all my social media. I will help you out. I love doing that for people, but yeah, this is what this is saying. Manifest your way through it. Use your brain. You got this spring 2024 money. There's that money coming in again. We talked about it, you know, in, in, um, what was it? October. I don't even know. There was a money card around this time though. Where was it? Oh yeah. It was spring. It was spring money coming in for you. Again, queen is an absolutely beautiful card and it's, it's a Capricorn card. It is a Capricorn card. So think about how we had the Capricorn for your January astro dice. That being disciplined thing, that, that doing things a certain way is really going to help you out. Is really going to keep things, uh, moving, really going to keep things lubricated for you. Summertime 
pleasure. Ooh, sexy time. And I think we saw in the other cards, I love when there's confluence, when like different, you know, uh, divinations say the same thing. I love that because then you're like, okay, it's true. Um, pleasure is coming in for summer. Have a good summer. Have fun. Run around. Have a lover. Have a side piece. I don't give a shit. You know, go do you. Uh, it's a very wonderful time. And this is pleasure. This is, you know, a six. It's a six of cups. That is that card that was upside down for you earlier, where I was like, be alone in, in um, spring. And it's okay to be alone in spring. Well, this is that same card, different deck, obviously. Same card, but it's upright. So it's like, okay, now your cup is upright. If your cup is upside down, you can't put anything in it. But once you turn your cup upright, you can fill it. So this is like, go have fun. Go fill your cup. Whatever the hell that means to you, okay? I'm sure it means something naughty, but you know, I'm with you. And then fall, we have the lovers. So the lovers can mean a couple different things. It can mean you discovering your passion, or it can mean you actually finding somebody new. This could be a new lover. This could be somebody comes back. This could be if you are with somebody that you get a new second honeymoon. So there you go. You got a whole year. You got multiple different angles to look at it from. Get a hold of me. I love reading for you guys. I love, love, love reading. I love getting to know you people and to, you know, talk on the phone and to learn about your lives and to become really close close friends and family. So get down there and check out that phone number right down below. Link is in bio, link is down below wherever you're watching this and go over my Etsy store and go to my Facebook and I will take care of you happily. Talk to you soon, Aquarius. Thank you so much.